Alright, here's part two. Now, I'm going to have to make it in more parts because my camera doesn't have much memory, so just can't put it up into one big video. And let's start part two off with uh, Garfield and Friends. I used to watch this movie stuff back when I was very little on Nickelodeon and this channel that talked about God and Jesus and I called it the Church Channel. Uh, this pretty much uh, has the holiday celebrations. It has a Halloween episode, the Thanksgiving episode, and the more memorable, the Christmas episode. Garfield as himself has Here Comes Garfield <clears throat> and Garfield on the Town and Garfield Gets a Life. I don't re really remember these. So it pretty much has, I guess, the movies of Garfield and Friends. They're pretty good. And uh, my favorite is probably the Christmas episode because I remember watching it all the time when I was a kid. I don't think they really aired it anymore. I haven't seen it on TV for a few years. So far, the first three Harry Potters. I remember seeing the first one, Source with Stone, back in theaters. And ever since I saw every other one. My favorite movie and book would probably be The Prisoner of Azkaban. And least favorite movie and book would probably be The Chamber of Secrets. I just thought that one was always more boring than the others. And as you see, I only got the first three, so I really need to get the other ones. And I may have to get the first two again because they're pretty scratched up and they don't really work anymore, so I may have to buy these ones again. And yeah, I do know it's called the Sorcerer's Stone in every other country, so... But I grew up in America and that's what I call it. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, okay. This was always one of my favorite more adult movies as a kid. Forrest Gump. Yeah, you all know what it is about the man with a low IQ and life's about is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That's pretty good. Definitely one of my favorite roomies still. I don't think I really have watched this DVD actually yet. Should probably get to it one day. Alright, Madagascar. This movie's okay. It's not great, not bad, but okay. I also saw this one in theaters, too. It does, definitely does have its funny moments. This is the only Madagascar film I've seen. I haven't seen the other ones. Or other one. I don't know how many they are. Alright, my favorite animated movie of all time. The Lion King. Yeah, this is... I think this is my first Blu-ray I got, along with Cars 2. remember watching this film back when I was young and always loved it. I still got the VHS of it, but... I also want to get a DVD of it so I can see it in good quality. I don't think I've watched this one yet either. Well, I think I've seen the DVD version, but not the Blu-ray version. So I should definitely get to it. Yeah. This, I think, was my first DVD I ever gotten. The Lion King one and a half. Or the first one I owned. I've had this for quite a long time now. And it's pretty good. It's about Timon and Pumbaa's story of the Lion King. And what they did when Simba isn't around and anything. It's pretty good. And some people like to call it the Lion King 3. In my, oh, in my opinion, uh, The Lion King is actually really the only good Disney trilogy. All the other Disney sequels are just bad. Alright. Bruce Almighty. This is definitely one of my favorite comedy films. And it's about the guy who pretty much becomes God. Definitely has its funny moments like when Bruce makes um, Evan talk and seems like that. It is definitely a pretty funny movie. I haven't seen the sequel yet, no, but I heard it got terrible reviews, so I don't plan to see it. It's smart. I don't think I ever saw the original series from the 60s, I think it was. I saw this movie in theaters back when it came out, and 
part is pretty funny. So maybe one day I will check out the series, but for now it's only this. Alright, what kid doesn't know his show today? SpongeBob SquarePants, the first season. This is what it started out. But, oh, excuse me, this is where it started, folks. Back in 1999, this is what aired in 2000. This is probably my second favorite season. The plots aren't really as good as season two, but it's still great. This was actually originally my brother's, but I think he just gave it to me for some reason. I remember when SpongeBob first aired, it was. We just all loved it, along with Pokemon. Alright. Let's go with was pretty much everyone's favorite season of Spongebob, season two. This season is just incredible. It has episodes like the Band Geeks, that Wormy episode. It's just incredible. This is definitely my favorite season of Spongebob. I mean, I just love it. It has all the great moments pretty much from the whole series. I just wish they would have a better box thing for it. Alright, pretty much for pretty much the older fans and some of the younger fans, season three is the last good season of SpongeBob. After this, the show was never the same. Mainly because it just took a huge nosedive, it became more childish, there weren't as much adult jokes. And it wasn't the same after season three, so to many fans, this is the last good season, and I probably couldn't agree more. Season four is alright, but I definitely say it's not as good as the others earlier seasons. And my last one, Bob DVD, the movie. This is where it should have ended. This is where they should have just said goodbye to SpongeBob and ended it right there. But there, it's a pretty good movie. Not the best, but it's pretty good. It would have been a great way to end the series, but Nickelodeon had to be greedy and renew it for a fourth season and they're still going on with it today. Alright, Rugrats, the Trudy movie collection. Like every 90's kid, I saw Rugrats back when I was a little kid and who didn't love it? This includes the all three movies from the beginning, I guess. And I'll continue this in part two because I'm running out of memory.